How's everyone doing? I am here. I'm going to teach you guys how to use the chroma key. I just bought one about a week ago and learned how to use it. And thank you, Mark Epsilon. If you have time, check his site out. He, he's funny and he teaches a lot. And that's how I learned how to do mine. I have what's known as a chroma key or commonly known as a green screen right behind me. And it is well lit. I have well, right now I can't afford work lights, so I am using, actually, here, I'll show you, I'll show you. I'm using common household lights, I'm using common household lights, just, and I don't recommend using this unless you have to. You can go out and buy some of uh, the work lights and uh, normal lights, do it, because this it's a lot harder to work with because I tried keying it out. It's a lot harder than you'd think, and it works. But uh, I got my chroma key off of eBay for thirty dollars from TubeTape.com. It's nice, but um, I recommend getting cloth because it doesn't shine, and that's hard to key out when it shines. So I recommend cloth. And I don't think you should get it, but I've never had it. But they also sell plastic ones, which are cheaper. But I don't know how they work. So, like I said, try to get cloth for a decent price. If you can't, oh well. They also have chroma key paint. If you want a more permanent route with your chroma keying, if you really take it seriously and you want to paint your room, or a wall or whatever you want to paint um, they do sell the paints and I've seen it done and it's kinda cool to see a full room painted in green they sell mainly two kinds of chroma key they have blue chroma key and green the blue screen is really really bright blue like really bright blue don't get navy blue if you're gonna try and get a chroma key blue because the navy blue is darker and that'll mix in with your skin a little bit. The reason they choose green and blue is because that they don't want you to, they're, they're the furthest away from your skin color, your skin tone. And it's easier not to mix them up if it's a completely different color. Like my skin tone is not at all like green. Well, let's, uh, Let's show you what to do, all right? So we're at my computer screen now, and I'm gonna tell you, I use Sony Vegas, which is, it's, it's nice, I like it. But chroma keys are normally the same throughout whichever PC one you have. I don't know Macs, so I'm not gonna lie and tell you I know Macs, because I don't. With Sony Vegas, I'll, I'll show you how. This is Sony Vegas. It's the software I use, and a lot of people use it, but not everyone likes it. This is where all my stuff is. I organize it into clips, and I open up my clips, and those are all the movies I've made. I pick informational because that's the movie we're at, and I made this one especially for you guys. I just drag it up, and it shows me I'm going to put it there, and you lengthen it by just grabbing the end and it's as far as the clip can go but I'm going to click this because that's how you open up the events and in the events there are the two that you need chroma key blur and chroma key and it shows you everything that you put on right there and you just click OK it brings you to this screen and there's the preview screen and we're gonna need that and I it starts automatically on blue for some reason and we're just gonna unselect chroma key I use the dropper and what I do is I just go over to the preview screen pick a spot and it drops it right there this is that and I'm going to put the chroma key back on and as you can see this is when the chroma key is off, that's normal, just green, and then this is when it's on. As you can see, 
I got darker as well, which isn't good, but we can easily fix that using this, which is the threshold. And the threshold lets me work on it so I come out better. Because, God forbid, I look crappy in my informational video. And I move it around until it looks decent. Um, because you can't get it perfect every time. That, I believe, looks pretty good. So, and then you can also blur it so it, the green doesn't show. The threshold switches it around, makes it a little harder and softer. And then I also just go to the blur. And I usually leave horizontal down and bring vertical all the way up because that works best. Then you just X out. And as you can see, I don't have a background. It would help if I had a background, wouldn't it? So let's make us a background. All right. I have some presets that I downloaded off StonyVegas.com right here. It's called Green Screen Backgrounds. And I'm going to pick Neon Lava Lamp. I just drag it up underneath. And as you can see, watch what happens. That's without a background, and then the background comes into play. And there it is. I'm moving around with Chrome Key. Moving around with Chrome Key. Moving around with Chrome Key. As you can tell, I was very bored. And it works, which is good, which is what I was trying to prove to you guys. It's good to crop as well. I event pan crop because sometimes, I'll show you, sometimes it cuts off screen like that. It's cut off screen. And we can fix that by uh, repositioning ourselves or cropping by making the picture longer. See how it fixed itself. And that's good. That's what we want. Like I said, the event pan crop, it, it's a helpful tool. So that's all I have to tell you about Chrome Key. If you have any questions, just comment me or do what you want to do. And I'll try and help you out the best I can. Another way to contact me is through my MySpace, www.myspace.com slash captainconcession. And I'm always checking and I'm always willing to help another person in need so Thank you.